everybody. This is my third video in the series examining the new features in the November 2021 Power BI update. And in the past videos, I looked at Page Navigator and Bookmark Navigator. Um, today, I want to look at the Sword Legend um, option. And it, this is going to be a pretty simple video, but it's a nice bit of functionality that they've added to the program. So I wanted to show you where that resides and talk a little bit about some of the nuances of how it works. So here I've just got a very simple um, column chart and I've got total sales by channel and year um, sorted ascending 2019 to 21. And what we can do now that we weren't able to do prior is just in this, this three dot expanded options is just to go down and go sword legend and sort descending. And that just flips the flips the order, and then we can just click back here to the three whoop, the three dots, sword legend, and then change it back to ascending. So you can flip back and forth. So what I've got here is is a little bit different orientation of the same data, where instead of um, having the legend by year, I've now got the legend by channel, and I've got the year the quarter and year on the x-axis. And the same thing works here, obviously, that we can flip the um, flip the sword legend around from descending to ascending. But now the question is, what do we do? We, so we can, we can make wholesale first, then export, then distributor, or we can make distributor export wholesale. But what if we want to make export the first one? So there's no... There's no custom order in the, the legend sort um, functionality. So what we'd have to do in that is just go transform data. And we'll wait till that kicks in. And let's go to our let's go to our channels table. Oh, got a refresh here. And then let's go to let's go to our channels table. And what we can do, what we can do here is go to add column, um, column from examples. And let's make this a custom sort. And now we can just kind of kick the, the columns by examples in. So we want to make export, in this case, our number one. Uh, let's make distributor our number two and wholesale our number three. And we'll click OK on that. And we'll change that to a whole number. And we'll go to close and apply. And so now what we can do, we'll wait for the changes to click through, is we can go into our channels table. And we'll see that that custom sort field. And so now if we just click on channel name, sort by column, and then custom sort, we've now got export at the top of the list, then distributor, then wholesale. So that is through those two options, the easiest one being the, the new legend sort, and then the second one being the, um, the custom, custom sort column, we can set our, our legend into any order that we want, just a little easier than we were able to do before. Um, so if I go back into legend here, just one thing I want to show you that's not directly related to the legend, but I think is a really nice feature, is if we go here into the, into the visual, and we go to x-axis, what we've now got is we've got the full rich text formatting available. So we can, we can make whatever sorts of changes to that x-axis. So if we want to make that um, bold and change the, change the color on that, change the, uh, the point size, and even make that, that, le that, x-axis conditional format, we can do that. So that used to be a major pain to have to step through 
all the different levels of, of formatting. So I just want to show you that. I think that the, um, the new format pane, it takes a little getting used to, but I think it's got some huge advantages over the, the previous one. Um, and just remember, in order to get to that, you've got to go to options and then the preview settings. And we'll just wait for that to click through preview features and the new format pane. And I would expect this to become general availability relatively soon. Um, so that's that's it for today. As I said, that was a quick one, um, but a nice, a nice bit of new functionality added to the program. Um, so thanks for joining us and I hope to see you in the next video. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.